Governor, are you still there? See, that, I know that sound. That's us. That wasn't Ron Paul the other day. Okay? That's our phone system. I want that on record. I tell you, it's, it's like living in a clown house or something. Um, just call him back and let him finish his point. It's, it's always when I got huge guests on, too. You know, Ron Paul, Jesse Ventura, and, and the standard operating procedure. Hell, I can call him on my cell phone and get him on that way. Um, we've got General Stubblebine coming up with uh, Dr. Rima Lebo, part two of the interview we started last week. And I do have a lot of other news that we're going to be covering as well. But, hey, it's the miracle of technology, ladies and gentlemen. We're 50 years ago, 60, 70, 80 years ago, you couldn't even do stuff like this. And uh, it's kind of the hallmark of this show now. That's what we do. It's how we do it. Okay, Governor, got you cut off there when you were going to add a point about Bilderberg. Go ahead. It, it, was, it was either that, Alex, or they're cutting us off now. They're on to us. <laughs> you know? No, what I, what I was going to add was that just a, a simple sidelight to the show, and then I got to run, is that uh, we were interviewing a gentleman on the Bilderberg uh, episode, and, and uh, he had to travel from Europe to do the interview with me in, in New York, and we had to delay it a day. Because when he went to the airport, he was on the no-fly list. Now, he, this this person's not a terrorist. Why would he be on the no-fly list? And who has the power to do that? Well, that happens to even congressmen now. If they get crosswise, and, and you're not you're not charged, there's no judge, there's no jury. And now they're saying if you have bad credit, you'll be on the no-fly list. Or if you're on the no-fly list, you won't be able to buy a gun. So you're not convicted of a felony or a misdemeanor or a parking ticket, Governor, but then you lose your rights. Isn't that 180 degrees, the opposite from our republic form of government? I, I would like to think so. And, and, you know, and as I said earlier, Alex, it's, a, it's just the case of, uh, you know, the big brother. And, and in this case, it was dealing with the Bilderbergs that we had this particular guy we were going to interview. And he was coming from a foreign country to here. And he was on the no-fly list over there. And... To my knowledge, he's not a terrorist, so, you know, it's interesting that how, how they'll disrupt people's lives by putting them on this no-fly list if you simply have, are, are of, a, say, a, a different political persuasion or whatever it might be. Well, Governor, you've got to get to a meeting in downtown yep. Minneapolis, so we've only got four more minutes left with you. Uh, let's take two final calls quickly. Gary in Washington, then Mark in Minnesota. Gary, you're on the air with Jesse Ventura. Honor to be here with you. I have a very important piece of information for the governor, and I have a big question for both of you. First piece of information, Shake Maps, Shake Maps is a product of U.S. Geological Survey Earthquake Hazards Program. If you look at the shape, Shake Map in Sichuan, when the earthquake happened with a rainbow over China on May 20th, 2008, the Shake Map is the exact same shape as the HARP weapon. That's point number one, and then not, we'll get to point number two. Okay, what's your final point? Because we got to go here in a minute. Okay, so check out the shake maps. Final point, there's too much fragmentation on the info war. Prison Planet, Birthers, Oath Keepers, 9-11 Truth, Audit the Fed, LP, Gun Owners, Skywatch. I would recommend both of you join and help create a constitutional defense fund. Alex and Sir, Governor we can't do it all. Hold on a minute. People act like Jesse Ventura or Alex Jones or Ron Paul have magical powers. We put our, le our pants on one leg at a time, too. Freedom is fractured. It's good that we're not all unified because that makes us hard to stop. Uh, Governor, your comment on that. Well, and the other thing is, too, is that how, how do you do it? it? It's like when I was the third-party candidate in Minnesota, I tried to bring all the third parties together so we could consolidate and become a force against the other two parties. I got news for you. It's like herding cats. <laughs> Infighting. And, uh, and, and I couldn't even bring them together on an issue that we all agreed upon, and that was campaign finance. None of us, none of us took dirty money. 
and it just fractured like nothing. And so I just threw my hands up in the air and I said it may be impossible. Yeah. I think Alex makes a great point that they can't stop us all if we're all coming at them from different directions. Yeah, it's a spirit of liberty. Shrink yep. government, bring accountability. Final call for Governor Jesse Ventura from his home state, Minnesota. Mark, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hi, you can hear me? Yes, I yep. can. Go ahead. Hi, Mark. Hi. Hi, I voted for you, Jesse. I appreciate both of you guys' work. And uh, quickly, uh, a couple questions about, I can't wait for your show to come out. Um, I'll look forward to watching that. And I'll tell people about it, my friends and whatnot. A uh, couple ideas for the show. Maybe you could look into uh, the uh, patent issue where people, uh, individuals developing free energy and anti-gravity anti technology that the government then deems it a national security risk. You know, Jesse, that's a great idea if it gets picked up for another season is yep, look at cold it fusion. Is, and we'll, we'll take that under consideration, but we got to get picked up first. We only did seven for right now. Yeah, we got to cross that bridge before we... We have to come yep. to that bridge before we cross it. Yep. Uh, anything else, Mark? Yeah, one last thing. I just I saw an article in the World Net Daily about the data centers being set up by the NSA and Homeland Security Department. And I'm very concerned about that. They collect all their information, all communications, and store it. And uh, it's well, just another incremental loss of liberty. Watch my show on his big brother watching and all that, and uh, you'll learn how they get away with it and how they loop the Constitution to do it. Thank you so much, Mark. Okay, we got a minute and a half left. Governor, I'm going to say bye to you when we go to break, so just hold one moment. But I wanted to say in closing, it's been great working with you. I hope the show airs. Looks like it is. They've started promoting it. They're unleashing you to promote it, so I think that's the green light. But as you said, we won't believe it airs until we see it go on December 2nd on True TV, so spread the word. But did you ever think, because I know all about this stuff, and I still can't believe it. I'm still flabbergasted. I am psychologically speechless a lot of times. I can still babble some words out, but it's hard to articulate the NSA says they're taking over the whole Internet. They may shut it down during crises like bird flu or swine flu. The NSA is going to intercept all Internet traffic. They're building NSA centers in San Antonio and New York and Florida and Minnesota and California and just admitting they're reading everything we're doing. So they go from we're not spying on al-Qaeda to we are spying on al-Qaeda to we're spying on you and we don't need no stinking warrants. Did you ever think that would happen? Well, it, it will happen because, yeah, I, I can believe it happening, Alex, because of apathetic people out there. People have, cannot be apathetic any longer. You can't sit on your hands anymore. You can't sit back and have government tell you they're going to protect you, but in lieu of that protection, you're going to give up your freedoms. You are better off to be in danger from terrorists than you are to lose your freedoms. Don't let them take your freedoms and always remember, dissension is the greatest form of patriotism. Governor Jesse Ventura, amazing having you on. That's a great way to end it. We're on the march. The Empire.